are here. Here's our little apartment. We actually have some special people joining us in a few hours. Surprise! Are you surprised? Surprise. She loves it. Surprise! <laughs> How are you? Nice to see you. Hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I think it's about nine AM. It's Thursday. Um, we've got to be at the clinic for about 10. I am so anxious this morning. I honestly feel like I could throw up. I'm just so nervous. But I'm being very careful with what I tell myself and what I let my mindset get to because I have to keep on top of this really awful anxiety otherwise it's all gonna go to crap when I get there, so I'm just gonna put some makeup on, not very much, and try and stay hydrated before I go. I'm pretty much all ready. I've got this new t-shirt. It says infusion day, but I'm not excited. We're gonna harvest her blood. <laughs> Are you excited for your infusion? I am, yeah. When's it my turn? He's <laughs> sitting in his seat waiting. Champs-Élysées. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had this before? <laughs> <laughs> I like to discourage people from doing things <laughs> like math. Oh, we did. We did do it.
We found a cat cafe. <laughs> Yes, I do like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Good morning. It is 11 a.m. on Friday the 12th. I was slightly worried that we were flying back home on Friday the 13th, but no. I'm feeling okay today. Sorry I haven't done much like chattiness with you guys. It's just it hasn't really been that kind of trip. Um, yesterday went so much better than I thought it would. Um, and it just goes to show that our minds and our anxiety can bully us into thinking that the worst outcome ever is gonna happen and blow things way out of proportion. Um, and so we shouldn't trust everything that our minds tell us because I was totally okay. I'm very proud of myself because when I woke up yesterday morning, I was very, very nauseous because of the anxiety of having the infusion. Um, and I was honestly quite close to throwing up. <laughs> but I was very proud of myself because when we got to the clinic, I kept on top of it all. I didn't have any kind of panic attack or anything like that. I just, I just got on with it. Um, it helped a lot having Max and Harley there. Um, I don't know if they realized that, but it did help a lot. I think overall it took about an hour for the entire thing. I don't know what you could really make out in the videos. Um, but first, so they obviously put the cannula in. First, they took um, 16 tubes of blood. They wanted to repeat some blood tests. After last year's Poland trip, they took 21 tubes that time and it made me feel really unwell but this time was 16 and it's still a lot more than I usually get. On average, I'd say it's about seven or eight. Mm -hmm. But thankfully it didn't make me feel unwell this time. And I think the fact that it's winter helps because in the summer when it's really hot, my pots gets a lot worse. And so having a lot of blood taken last summer was not good. And then she pushed two big syringes, sort of like this thick, um, this long. One of them was steroids and one of them was a antihistamine. So she pushed those two first and then a smaller syringe of the actual treatment, the SOT. Sorry, there's a lot of trams that go past here. So that's what that rumbling noise is. And then the drip that I was on for the next like 45 minutes or whatever um, was flushing everything through, getting it all mixed up. I got really, really tired during it. And I was just knocked out for the entire day yesterday but I feel okay today. I have a lot more energy. The only like symptoms that I've noticed is that my Bartonella like bone pain has been coming back in my legs, but that just shows that it's actually doing something. I wasn't expecting it to happen so quickly, but I guess everyone's different. So that did wake me up in the night. Um, pains in my leg bones, <laughs> which isn't very pleasant, but, um, but right now, I feel quite good, so we'll just see how today goes. I think we're going to the aquarium, but we are flying home this evening, so we get into the airport for about five-ish, I think. Again, the plane flight was something that my head blew way out of proportion and told me loads of nasty things about how it was gonna go, and it wasn't like that at all. In fact, it was quite enjoyable. And the clouds were so pretty, so I'm kind of looking forward to today's flight, which I never ever thought I'd say. I'm looking forward to getting home and seeing Teddy and my rabbits. I don't know how the next few months are gonna go because that is when the stuff could kick in. Meow. Because essentially what is quite likely to happen is that I'll get worse for a while, but that just means that it's working and that the Bartonella is dying off. Uh, you kind of have to get worse before you get better, but some people don't get worse at all. So I don't know how it will go with me. Time will tell. I guess I will see you at the aquarium. Oh, by the way, do you like my, my makeup? This is my outfit for the day. This is one of my merch t-shirts, which I'm pretty sure there's still some available, so I will leave the link to my shop down below. Um, and these trousers, which I really like them. Um, and my makeup and my hair. Slay queen. I wanted to make myself feel like me today because yesterday was quite rough and I, I felt kind of numb yesterday, like I didn't really feel anything. But 
today I'm feeling better and I'm feeling positive, so I wanted to make myself feel good. So, um, yeah. Okay, see you in a bit. Axolotl. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's digging. Which side? This one? Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so sorry. Watch your hands. <laughs> oh! <laughs> At the airport. Us, but he didn't even catch us, he just trucked on. So well, yeah, oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's made me feel a lot better about him pissing <laughs> about with Subway. Get back through. He said he's going to beat the shit out of you. this will be fun. Right, come on, Eve. I'm so sorry, I had no part in it's it. Also, right we're going back through. I have to walk back past this guy who I just told him I have to leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Five, w, six, Do a trick. Very, very wrong, very quickly. <laughs> Well, it's actually the afternoon now. It is Saturday the 13th of January. We were back in England last night. We got home kind of late, uh, about 11 p.m. We slept like a baby and I'm still so tired. I think some of it is still from the infusion and some of it is from the traveling and just being away from home. So I'm having a day in my Udi and I'm just gonna be chilling. I'm gonna be playing some Sims 4. I'm gonna be finishing the book that I'm reading. I'll show you. I've seen it in my Christmas haul video. This one I got from my girlfriend called The Hike by Lucy Clark. I've so nearly finished it. 
and I was reading in bed last night and I was gonna finish it, but I couldn't keep my eyes open. I was so, so tired. So I'm gonna finish this today. And honestly, I think the next few weeks, I'm just gonna be really taking it easy because it just, it really took it out of me. I'm so tired. It's now been like 48 hours since my infusion and I feel okay. I've been having some pains in my legs, which is a big Bartonella symptom. So I can't remember if I've already said this, so apologies if I had. Um, but that just shows that the infusion is working. Um, but so far, nothing too drastic. Sorry, it hasn't been as sort of, um, this video hasn't been kind of like as fulfilled as my last Poland vlog. I think I was just really distracted with everything and my anxiety was really high. Hopefully when I put it all together, it'll still be a decent video. Plenty of more Poland vlogs to come because I'm going back again three times in the summer. Um, to start IVIG, so plenty more of this to come and I'll try and make those ones a bit more full, I suppose. Um, also being with Max and Harvey, I kept kind of forgetting to video stuff because I get quite distracted when I'm with them. So um, not to blame them or anything, but post loads of updates on my Instagram and I'll be posting a lot of updates on there about how I'm feeling following the infusion. Like, you know, I'll update again in like a week and you know, one month post infusion kind of thing. I will leave the link to my Instagram in the description. Oh, my legs kind of sore actually. <laughs> Thank you for all of the support. It's been very, very overwhelming, but I appreciate all of you very much. It has been quite a scary time. Um, lots and lots of anxiety. Um, <laughs> if you would like to watch my previous Poland vlog, I will pop it right here. Or if you would like to watch one of my other playlists, I will put a playlist here. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.